Okay, so Andy, we, we know that that little blue stem is, is an important grass for quail habitat. Why is that? Well, little blue stem, known as a, it's one of the four big grasses, along with big blue stem, yellow Indian grass, and switchgrass, that was uh, originally part of the tall grass prairie. And uh, here in front of us, we've got a great example of why a little blue stem can be such a, so, so important to quail habitat. Um, it serves as one of the main plants for uh, nesting habitat uh, in central Texas and, and as well as uh, many other areas of the state. And uh, as we see here, we've got a, uh, a, a plant about the size of a basketball, maybe even a little bigger. Um, and what we'd like to see for nesting habitat is about 250 and maybe 300 of these bunch grass clumps per acre uh, across the landscape. And uh, if we have this, that gives us, that will meet the needs of the nesting requirements for quail. Uh, so in order to keep 250 plants, if we have it, or or um, benefit our ranch to where we want to maybe have that goal, we would need to properly graze it, right? Correct. You know, as I look across at some of these other ones, there's a couple of plants right over here that I would call properly utilized. When we talk about, you know, we mentioned the... The, the half utilization or the or the 25 percent harvest efficiency these two plants right here this one is a little small to be nesting habitat but it's certainly a little blue stem and if you look at at the height typically on tall grasses we want to see right at 12 inches left you can see 12 inches of grazing occurred on this plant right there but also we left the the cow left some some reproductive shoots that's going to help that plant that seed things of that nature there's another one right here that's that's been grazed properly so that's really what we're looking for and if we can utilize that that's not hurting the plant at all it's actually utilizing this the the amount that uh, is going to continue root development if we grazed it any shorter than that then we may be starting to deplete some of those roots okay Jeff so from a quail standpoint it's important that uh, we maintain some plant height such as this little blue stem, if we're using that take half, leave half, for that 25% utilization, that's going to allow us to leave about 12 to 14 inches of growth on these tall bunch grasses, which serves as a great nesting habitat for quail. That's correct. Uh, like, let's take this little blue stem again, for example. That 25% utilization is going to going to allow us to keep not only that health plant that plant healthy, but but leave those nesting uh, those those plants for 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 those nesting requirements for the birds. The difference is we've got certain plants that, that can can take a little bit different heights uh, with respect to grazing management. We've got different functional groups of, of grasses, the tall grasses, mid grasses, and then we've got short grasses. Tall grasses like big and little blue stem, switch grass, Indian grass, those are the grasses that we want to leave at that, that higher height. Plants like silver blue stem. Plants like uh, side oats grama, those are what we would call mid grasses in this part of Texas. We can graze those to a six or eight inch height. Those are typically not going to be our nesting habitat type plants anyway. Then we get into our short grasses, blue grama, uh, buffalo grass, curly mesquite. They're, they're more sod former type grasses. Those are not going to be providing nesting habitat either. Typically we'll want to see those right around four inches uh, as a residual height on those. So, so from the standpoint of of grasses, not all grasses are created equal, and then some certainly provide better better habitat um, for the life requirements of a quail.